Hi there, today, Tuesday 1st, February 2022. A new update got released by Microsoft with a policy to add users to local admin group on any of the computer if you are able to manage the uh, Intune. And also, same thing goes for Equan Protection to utilize the Windows Hello for Business or Credential God. So this has been actually updated today, which is uh, FIP first and it just got an update to this article and uh, I spotted this I would like to make a video on this that being said welcome to this small nugget where we are gonna learn about the latest update which is released by Microsoft Intune and uh, with this as we just talked about it we are gonna learn uh, by adding a group policy a kind of you know, setting directly which is available from a Microsoft Endpoint Security you could actually add any of the group on local computers if you have any of the group that you could actually remotely manage by adding any of the user to that computer so the user can become as a local admin or maybe you could add or remove the accounts from a admin groups or the local groups also can be done and let's actually quickly do the demo before we actually jump into the demo there are a couple of the pre requirements that you need to know look into it so this is only works on windows 10 and windows 11 devices uh, for icon protection can work on windows 10 and 11 but for the local adding group membership only works starting from 20h2 so the devices must be running on a 20h2 otherwise it's not going to work that being said, just navigate to endpoint security. This is the future ongoing uh, implements will be maximum. It will come from an endpoint security because these things are limited is going to going to be very limited. And this has a lot of scope to uh, get more features to be added here from a security point of view. So endpoint security and account protection. This is the one and you can create a policy so you could select your windows 10 or later and simply select the local group in case if you are trying to add or remove or update any of the groups on local computer uh, groups membership then you would be choosing this in case if you're trying to uh, configure for windows hello or business or credential god specific you are gonna utilize the account protection so i'm gonna actually demonstrate this a local user group and membership create and give a meaningful name we can fill here as a name for example help this team for learning workstation so we are going to target for all the learning users help this team who can you know have a full permissions on all learning workstations and i could simply use here uh, the description meaningful description and simply come up here so you have a, as you can see here from a local group you have a multiple groups are available these are the built-in default groups so you could actually select it's not just for the admin so let's say you want to make as a remote desktop admin so that users can remotely log in you could you know make this a uh, checkbox and similarly you could you know add a power users or users or you could even create a users uh, and then you know you can make them so in this case uh, we are actually adding uh, under administrators and I'm gonna add I'm gonna remove or add so these are the actions that you are actually uh, performing on this specific group this is called a user action so what we will be doing is we will be adding a user account so this is a manual so you could you know select a user manually with that uh, uh, user account so when we say user account this is going to be if you have a list of users you could directly add by for example my domain name in this case you know example domain backslash with your user account for example here help desk you could you know give like this or or you could actually give the email id kind of in you know, a format also this is one way other way would be definitely you could uh, instead of manual you could you know take as a users a group and filter with the required user group so in this case i can type here as learn and help this team and simply select that so whoever part of this ad group are going to be members in case if i want uh, if i want to add instead of add one more action to be performed like you know remove some other user group i could do it directly from here so you don't need to visit the remote computer to perform any kind of action so this is very similar the way you are going to control with your local group policies or the group policies for managing users and groups 
uh, from a local uh, machine point of view so you have a very good option here you could do that so in case uh, in my case I don't want to you know remove anybody so I'll just you know delete this and I perform next and I could you know assign for this for a specific device group so let's say I want this to be uh, assigned for all devices in my case but I wanted to you know use a filters if you remember guys uh, we did talked about in the past about the filters in the last uh, uh, one of the update which was released by Microsoft and you could you know apply even filters let's say this should be only include for my London based devices so I could you know use uh, I could you know actually create a filter for only London based devices or I could actually apply for only my personal devices or I could do the way I want it actually by using the filters filters gives the additional level of fil uh, options for me or I could actually create a specific device group which consists of my all London devices and simply add it or I could even add that users so that it's gonna uh, apply on that devices but in always it's good to you know assign for the devices not for the users so in my case I'm actually applying for all users and click on next that's it and you could even use the scope or tags to filter further level of of scoping to a specific set of devices so in in my case you know it's a default but in a production you might be you know having some of the scopes and some of the filters so you could you know combine and you could you know use them and click on next that's it it's gonna add that specific configuration for you that's how you're gonna create a policy and assign so that the users are part of local admin group Thank you for watching this. If you really like it, you know, give it a thumbs up.